Hi guys, we've already learned TBL search function from the previous video. In this lesson, we will create a program to see how it works. So the objective of the program is to replace the text style. Let's examine first uh, what are the styles in this drawing. So we can see that by typing the style. And we can see that we have here one, two, three, four, five, five styles. So let's create a simple program to substitute the style of the text. Let's call this one as a define. Just put this one into an auto this mode. Define C update style okay so assuming that we are going to use the architect style let's just hard code it for now new style say architect okay then we will ask the user to select a text that we're going to replace with the architect style. So we will use the car and cell. And then prompt the user to select a text to replace with the style. One more. Now let's get the property of this uh, text. So Q, let's make it TXP for properties, and we will do the end get of the text. Okay. Now let's create another variable that will hold the value when we substitute the style of the text. So let's say TXP new. We will use the substitute command and which particular list we are going to substitute. It would be the style of the text, which is in this case, we will do the, the cons 7, new style, this will be the, the new style, then we will replace the old style which is in the list it is the association list of 7 of the TXP and we will do it in the TXP variable okay then we are going to issue the entity modification and mod to update the list txp new okay then we will issue the end upd so that the updated entity will be regenerated in our drawing and then just type the princy so let me just break it down further so the first line we are just actually hard coding the new style which is this one here the reason why I chose this one is because if I list down this text here, the style is standard. Okay, so we will replace this one with the architect style. That's why we hard coded it as in 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 the new style variable architect, and then we select the text so if you remember the end cell let me just show you the end cell select the object it gives us the entity name and the point right so we are only interested on the entity name that's why we use the car it's next we are going 
to do the end get to the entity name which is in this case to get all the drawing definition data okay so this is what we have for txp as you can see it now we create a list of style which is con7 of the architect and we are going to replace the asoc7 of txp this is the one so basically we are replacing this uh, text we are replacing that text with uh, with this one here the architect okay so this is the definition data of the text we will just be replacing this one with the architect and then we update it and we uh, we mod we issue the end mod to update the data definition then we update it all right so let's try this program let me just save it first uh, save it to autolis let's say update style.lsp all right so now if we load that one that file load see always load okay so now we have the command update style okay let's run it so select a text to replace with a style there you go nice so if we list this one it becomes it should now be architect style okay all right now how are we going to apply the tbl search let's create a new uh, function if I see let's say update style 2 we are going to copy exactly all of this except that instead of hard coding it we are going to use the get string function by prompting the user to enter the new style okay and then what we're going to do is we have to validate if the style that the user enters is valid or if it exists in the, the table the style definition so this is what we're going to do if tbl search is now tbl search come into play then we search by style then new style basically we're checking if it exists if it does then we do the program then we we execute all of this all right otherwise if it doesn't exist we will just prompt the user style the new style or the style that the user entered is not found okay so that's just about it but before we execute this one let's create our own style so let's say we create our own, own style create our own style new style let's let me call this one italic bold then this the, the font style should be bold italic 
yeah, we can use the Times New Roman and let's make the width factor 2 so we can see the effect right away and apply. So now we have here our new style, okay? That's the one we're going to use. Now let me just load the program. That update style. Okay, update style 2. Oh, we haven't saved it, that's why. Let me save this one and load it again. We have an error here, malformed list. Let's check it out. This is okay. This is okay. We missed the closing parentheses for the if statement. There you go. This is okay. Yeah, so save it. Load. Nice. No, now we have the update style 2. Let's execute that. So we are now prompting the user to enter a new style. Let's try first if the user type in something that doesn't exist. Let's say, yeah, whatever. Style whatever is not found. Okay. So our validation is working, which means it, it tries to search from the the style database and it wasn't found so we just pr provided this message here now let's try it again with the valid style italic bold and enter now we ask uh, to select the text to be replaced with let's try this one there you go so that's just about it that's the use of the tbl search Alright, give this a try, do some tweaking, however you like it, and see how it goes. In the next video, we're going to uh, show, I'm going to show you the TBL next function, and I'll see you there.